Okay, hi everyone, welcome on in. This is called Time Plexu Time Travelers, and it's for the Amiga. This is a result of us maximizing all of our free spins for today. So, and yeah, it's, it's, it's an Amiga game, so check it out. This is one that I chose because I like weird games. Ooh, the choice of colors as well, I forgot about that. Um... So uh, who can we be? Green? What what colour are we? Let's go for pink. We will, we will love being pink. But yeah, I like I do like oddities. I do like that hair as well. David, oh, I can see that, yeah. <laughs> David Bowie was a legend. Like, what, what more do you need? You got a person, you got a guy with a rad hairstyle. You got a very sort of starry background as well. You got it's practically a screensaver. And it's also available on PC. Here we go. So, I had no idea. It, it seems like choosing the colour pink made no difference. Wisted. Why did it give us that option? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, basically go from left to right and shoot stuff. It's fine of it. Enjoy the music and the weirdness. The very generic looking ghosts. Oh, okay, we have to. I just noticed. Ouch! There was uh, some crystals there as well. What happens if we get enough of those? Don't know. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess. Uh, yeah. So that was time. Plexu. Hope everyone enjoyed that. So, it's not easy. I mean, free spin for the win, maybe. Like, like I said, I'll try to like pick games that are just like, you know, not terrible, not good, but just like, ones that sort of just like, off the radar. Keeping things under control at the moment. I'm not sure if these are the only three enemies in the game as well. Dragon, the eyeball, and... No, it was the ghost in that xenomorph thing, wasn't it? I hope this is the whole game. Oh, 
you can jump on there. Okay, I thought that was part of the background. <sighs> okay, got. We reached a high score. I don't know if that did anything. That cr oh, <laughs> I was about. I was actually about to write that down. Cracks on speed, supercars too. <laughs> you like the clashing art styles? Yeah, it's uh, it is unique. Um, once and not much of it. It's just a. It was just. It was the title that uh, drew me in. It wasn't too long ago. Well, I was gonna say I think it was a few months ago. That um, I think it was a uh, unicorn that suggested there was something called like a Wick Wicked Games pack. It was like a hundred games, all public domain, and uh, that was terrible. Ouch. That's about the same spot as last time. Oh no, slightly less of a score. Never mind. Do the crystals have anything to do with this? Oh, the game had four artists? Yeah. That's kind of cool. And they're all working on different things. It's like, you, you'll take care of the Starfield, I'll work on the main character. Excellent. Uh, there's a, I was going to say a Steam game, I use the term game loosely because loosely it's a bit of an arc program, but you're basically, you're basically drawing with someone else completely random on the internet, so I imagine it's a bit like that. I'll do the eyeballs, you can do, I don't know, the mushrooms or something. Imagine one artist wanted to draw a bat, the other one wanted to draw an eyeball, so that was the uh, compromise. Also, that's a very wicked looking tree. Or maybe just say that, like, I am an evil tree.
honestly, why am I? Why am I always like marginally competent at the weird, obscure ones? R type, no chance. That's a normal, good game. But this, I don't know, like. Hurricane come but forgot most of the turret suit. Ooh, it's got darker. Exciting start. Is there a boss? Or have we just taken too long on the game? Oh, goodness. Okay. <gasps> Zombies! Oh my god, it's like that game with the uh, ghosts and other things. Oh, no way. Ah. It's okay if you stay in the move. Do like a lot of the other game just doesn't fit together. You're right, it doesn't. That's what makes it special. How works out the worst PD games he's ever played and watches them fail. Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of my stream. I mean, that's like flex, I guess. But um, alongside Graham and Ashens, um, yeah, managed to complete, well, managed to get through all the Assassin titles. And that's probably not a thing I should be proud of. I think one person was just like, ask, or rather, I think it was this. It wasn't so much the Assassin's titles as it was the sp how many we went through at the time. <laughs> we went through like nine volumes. But maybe this will have like one competent game, so like, <laughs> we're full thinking. I think there is an option where you can sort of aim your weapon up as well, but I feel like it's easier just to ju just to jump. Not doing too well this time. Just uses the same sample. It takes a while before they finally introduce um, different enemies. Like, it's cool they give you like three or four different ones at the beginning, but that, you know, takes a while before it says, you know what, let's, let's throw in something different. So what was the point of choosing your colour?
I want to see if there is a um, manual after this one. I'm really hoping that there's like a, a 20 page story to this. But what is the origin of the bat eyeballs? And the needing of collecting the mushrooms? Oh wait, sorry, crystals. Actually, they were probably taking crystals as well. Thinking up of ideas for this one. Ah, oh, here we go. Transition. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. How do I kill him? Do I just walk past him? I, c I just... I can't go further than that. Okay. Oh, you can aim up, can't you? How did you... Oh, that's going to be quite tricky. Okay. So, wait for that. Oh. <laughs> I can't aim up well in this game. Oh, there we go. That's going to be difficult. Honestly, it shouldn't. Um, okay, go check out the, um, let's have a look at the manual. I reckon that's about as far as we're going to get on this one, but still, it's interesting. Um, Amiga Plex 2 manual, let's see what we get with that. Uh, stuff on Lemon Amiga about it, but is there something on the Hall of Light? The oh wait, copy protection manual? No. Okay, couldn't find a proper ma proper manual for this one, but um, there is something on uh, uh, Lemon Amiga. So what have I missed out? Title screen... Wait, when the title screen appears, wait for the demo. There was a demo? Is this the right one? Doesn't look like it. Uh, time travellers, let's try again. Oh, here we go. Here, oh, oh, the manual's faded out. There's no manual. Excuse me. Um, okay, not really much here. Just a picture of a disc with the word uh, time travel on it. Um, I mean... It looks like it's um, the label's over something. So yeah, this is all courtesy of the Hall of Light site. Um, I 
I, I've got nothing really else to add to that. Here is a disc. Um, okay, got 26% from Amiga Action, 21 from Amiga Format, 5 out of 10 from a magazine called Data Magazine? Never heard of that one. But So yeah, generally unfavourable reviews. Okay. I mean, I could just play it by ear and experiment with uh, F keys and spacebar and stuff like that. Just in case they activate. I mean, it's called the forest, so there's bound to be other stages. Maybe holding down some... nope. Place. Even Pete... oh okay. He doesn't even pause it. The manual was a lie. Ah, oh, so close to getting that boss again. Annoying, annoying, annoying. <laughs> Definitely bringing in the logic. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I guess the helmet's just for show. I mean, there's many whys to this one. Like, why wear a helmet? Why give us the option of choosing your favourite colour if uh, it doesn't really mean anything? Maybe, maybe it's going to do a Metroid, like when the game's over, it's like, oh my god, it's a female, hold on, wow. I tell you that, that's, um, yeah, that um, was a bit of a... 
Um, that was that like um, known as like an, an iconic moment in Metroid. I think it would be more iconic if it was revealed to be something like a that like super frog. Oh wait, we've got bombs on the right. I just noticed that. How do we use bombs? Okay, next time I play, I have to see what what key does that. Okay, so we could go up to this point and he won't kill us. Okay, um, so bombs. Is it spacebar, shift, enter, B for bombs? F keys? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nope. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Backspace? Q, R, D. Any keys? It's none of these keys. Maybe I have to hold down a fire button. That's a thought. Uh, alt, alt. Okay. Hold. Maybe it's darker than hold down fire. I don't know. Oh, it's down. Oh, okay. So that's what angles the shots. Oh my god, do I have to do this all the time? We have to get on the very corner as well. Four hits. There we go. <laughs> I'm loving the line on the right. Really adds to the atmosphere. So yeah, still have no idea how bombs work, but... Uh, oh wow, holy hell. Um... Goldilocks was a cyborg all along. So, extra life. Uh, bomb, which we can't use, that's going to be pointless. Uh, super shot, double shot. Oh, we can't afford much of these. I'm guessing this is the currency of the crystals that we collected. Uh, extra life is only 10 crystals. So it's like aware of how frequently we die. Extra time. There was time in this game? 
Invulnerability? 10 seconds? Or just end everything? Um... I think there's anything that costs less than 10. No. Okay. Oh, really? Was it based off a question? Or just felt like doing it because... Uh, we know your kinks. What the hell? <laughs> what the... Okay. This, this got 80% more derpier. Good to know that there's now normal bats. It's just... Oh, okay, it's not in space, we're just in the dead of night. Who was that we're in space? Okay. Make him progress. Oh. Oh, okay. You know, the crazy thing is that doesn't surprise me as much as other people think it should surprise me. Because that was the same thing with the game called Star Ray as well. That was that Defender game that I played for the Lemon Amiga Challenge the last few weeks ago. And um, yeah, right mouse button was um, Smart Bomb there as well. I suppose you could map out the controls, but... Okay, thanks for uh, thanks for letting me know. I'll, I'll keep it as it is, just for entertainment's sake. It'd be weird to quick use a right mouse button. Just start transition from keyboard to that. <laughs> it scored you in just uh, being very matter of factly. <laughs> sexy, greeting, sexy cyborg lady with a little boo. I think that was her title. That was her full title. I mean, what could I say except, uh, welcome to the nighties. Where games were cool, and so were the underboobs. Would you put it? So uh, these are under boobs we're talking about, Demi. Not, it's not we're not talking about Lego here. time <laughs> I 
<laughs> Again disregarded. Yeah, um... Yeah. <laughs> Samus was a frog. Yeah, you're playing a frog the whole time. <laughs> there should have been like a cutscene, it's like, hang on a moment, and then she just like partially removes her helmet to just like lash out her tongue at a fly. It's like, okay, proceed with your uh, conversation. Oh yeah, let's, shall we experiment then? Right mouse button, kapow! Okay, pretty cool. <laughs> Am I doing worse and worse now? Oh dear. Um. Oh, I was gonna say, why is it locked up all of a sudden? So, has anyone figured out why it's given you an option to choose a color? Before the game begins, I can only I can only guess that if this was like a proper commercial release, this was like their copy protection bit. Pick a color, and if you pick the wrong one, it will just I don't know punch your disc in. Oh, is that what, is that what it's all about? Just expressionism. I mean, that would be disappointing. I'll have to think a little bit deeper into it. Now, what was the shopkeeper wearing? Maybe that depends on your favourite colour. What did I pick? Pink. I don't think there was anything pink about her. I mean, except the underboob, maybe, but I mean, that's kind of like default. two players and simultaneous I'm I am not sure I hope <laughs> I hope player two just has access to the bombs it's like you could be the mouse it's like 
Now, when I say use the right mouse button, use the right mouse button. That must be a fun roll for the second player. Is that how do you like your ladies? Pink, green, or blue? Those are the only options? Probably 45 minutes has already elapsed. Oops. I mean, it has to be one of the few games where I can safely say I have never shot so many eyeballs before in my life. Here we go. Actually, would a bomb kill him? Might have done. This game reminds me of uh, Rackney's Art. This is good compared to that absolute pap. Even the music to Rackney's Island is horrible. <laughs> but this is much better. It's 
still can't hardly afford anything. I think, I think I've got even less money than before. Um, okay. Extra time. Ah, it's got invulnerability, but how do we even use that? <laughs> Pink, there you go. That's skin colour, Demi. I know the difference. Um... Oh, can't we... Yeah, two extra lives. That's your lot. Oh, it's a land of ice. Okay. Honestly, could have fooled me. It takes such a while to duck as well. Because you you have to angle first. So you have to sort of duck ahead of time. Oh wow, okay, you have to hit that thing very quickly. Oh, I was pressing the wrong one? Oh, I'm out of bombs. <laughs> that would explain it. Oh boy. That's another glimpse to the second level. Hope everyone enjoyed that. Uh, Bold from Shadow of the Beast. Um, I suppose I'd have to see them side by side to see that comparison. You're probably right. I'll probably doing one, uh, two more streams with games like Plexi will bring him over to. You reckon? Like, um, if you compare, like, SNES games to Amiga games... Like, were, were there a whole bunch of really, really, just, like, super weird games on the SNES? I say one thing about this game, it's certainly not boring. Try and like farm for crystals, but uh, never mind. Uh, took inspiration, yeah, probably, probably. I mean, let's face it, a lot of games drew inspiration somewhere, usually from other games, occasionally from their dreams.
Oh, that nearly roasted me. Oh, yeah, sorry, you had a uh, Shadow of the Beast at home, nice. Like I was gonna say, if you, if you played that as a kid, yeah, you probably would have felt a bit... Like, it's it's a really cool game, but I imagine playing that for the first time, being completely naive and stuff, yeah. Imagine that one completely doing you in. Not an easy game. It would do most people in, to be fair. It's definitely rewarding if you're persistent with it, though. Goes hot on my tail. Oh, there we go. 41 crystals, what would that buy me? Easy Dragon speedrun tactics, oh, I guess so. I mean, it's the sort of game where you want to keep on the move anyway. Um, oh, there we go, double shot. But that's all we can get. Is it worth it? Sounds cool. Does it fire more frequently? Does it do more damage? At least you keep the weapon when you lose a life. I guess that's something. Please just say we can do this by moving right. Ah, oh, no, we can't. Ah, uh, it's okay. It's a bit of an improvement. 
Okay, we've got about um, three minutes to go. Um, so this is okay, actually. Like, it's not... It's far from perfect, obviously. But, um, yeah, like, if there was a... If there was one serious drawback, I think it would just be the fact that you don't fire that frequently to start off with. So you have to sort of manage your bullets carefully. Otherwise, you kind of find yourself, you know, to be a system duck. So if that was the intended way... If that was the intended challenge, fair enough. I just wish that maybe, maybe, maybe it was a little bit easier at the start. That's all I can really ask for. Don't give me like six billion floating fire, uh, floating ice eyeballs to begin with. Oh no, it's the boss. Okay, it takes more than two smart bombs. And oh yeah, we're above the hour. Let's just finish this guy and be done with it. Do the smart bombs even do anything? I don't think they even do. Okay, and there you have it. That was Plexu Time Traveller. Um, yeah, that was an interesting feat of a game. There's Ursula Underboob, and I'll see you guys next time.